Hello YouTube, and welcome to another handheld gaming video session again. This is my original Game Boy that I had when I was a kid, all those many years ago. The original one. It's not something I got off eBay recently. This is... Yeah, missing battery cover. Standard. One of my favourite Game Boy games. Wario Land. Super Mario Land 3. Yeah, good stuff. Right. I have pretty much every Nintendo handheld that's come out. I went through a phase of colouring my Game Boy Pocket as a kid. Uh, this was a clear Game Boy Pocket, then I coloured it in black. I wish I didn't ever did, but there you go. I even, I even did it to the game cartridges as well, for some reason. Game Boy Colour. Game Boy Advance, actually with a battery cover. <laughs> yep. Yeah. One of my favourite machines of all time. Actually. And then this came along and blew it away even more. Yeah, this is one of the games where I went through a recolouring phase. Dear me. Just colouring my cartridges in. You capture that texture effect of the plastic. That was cool. Oh god, it looks like this has been dipped in tarmac. Terrible. One of my favorite, another one of my favorite Game Boy games ever. One of the best ways to play it on this. This is a front lit Game Boy Advance SP, unfortunately. What? Works great in the sun. <laughs> so does this, in fact. <laughs> the original Fat DS. One of my favorite ways to play Game Boy Advance games because they sit flush in the DS. Which uh, the DS Lite uh, cartridge slot does not do. Which is here. Oh, mine's got the broken hinge, which I've sort of kind of fixed with sellotape. The only problem is uh, this button doesn't really press in. <laughs> but yeah. I should look into getting a flash car or something. Oh, oh well. But yeah, much better screens than the DS file on this to play Game Boy Advance games. And then I got this. Yeah. I've got, I've got all these consoles pretty much on launch ever since the Game Boy Classic. <laughs> I'm old. And yeah, play Game Boy Advance games. The Ambassador one. I got the Ambassador games because I got a pre launch. Yeah. yeah, at launch. Thank you, Nintendo. It just uh, sucks that the D-pad is so low down. The ergonomics of this is so poor. Like my hand, my thumbs rest here when I'm holding this, and even then, eh, it's too blocky. And the D-pad is very flat, very very flat. Not much. Tactile response, the worst D-pad Nintendo have ever done, unfortunately. So I've spent most of the time using this to play Game Boy Advance games. Oh, quiet you. But yeah, um, yeah. So after that, what do I do about my Game Boy Advance games? I still want to continue playing them. Well, of course. In my previous video, I showed you this, my Xperia Play. This is currently what I use to play all my Git classics, all the games I still own. Um, it's a good screen. It's got good controls, ergonomics as well, surprisingly. Better than a 3DS. And a DS. Well, the DS Lite's okay. The D pad's great. It's very tactile. You can hear when you click on it. Tact switch, tact buttons, I think they're called. And decent pair of shoulder buttons as well. They're actually comfortable. They're, they're actually they actually use springs for these. Surprisingly, they had space to fit that on a phone like this. That was good. But yeah, this is still used as every nearly every day to play my games, the classics. Currently playing. Let's just go for all my games I've got here right now. Yeah, all the best, very much. Game Dragon Ball 
advanced adventure. Yeah. The stereo speakers on the Xperia Play really can go really loud. That's this di distortion eventually happens. It's one of the loudest phones actually, and it's louder than um, the 3DS by far, and the original Game Boy. And the sound quality is really decently good as well. I'm happy with the uh, emulators as well. They run great. And I've got these two buttons here, which the Game Boy Advance doesn't have six buttons. Uh, it's got four. I use these for... Yeah, for uh, Turbo. <laughs> Gotta go Turbo. So good. Pause for a second, see if you can see the quality of the screen pixels. But yeah, it's a really good screen on Xperia Play. I'm using, uh, let's see, what uh, video screen size? Okay, you can adjust the screen size like that. Never mind. Yeah, took linear filtering off. Don't need it. I like my pixels. I like the blocky look. No filters. <laughs> uh, focus is a bit hard to play when I'm playing so close to the camera. There we go. Battery life is good on this because um, I have this in airplane mode where all the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, and the phone network is all turned off. So I get a decent amount of battery life out of this. About 10 hours, 15 hours? Playing at a solid 60 frames per second. Another game. Let's see. Oh, I don't have to use these buttons on the side. I can press this one. There we go. It feels weird navigating Android using a control pad, but it works. Ah, one of my launch games I got for my Game Boy Advance. Great classic. Yeah, I've currently moved all my ROMs and I forgot to transfer my save files before doing the video, so everything is as if it's brand new. Oh, I forgot to delete. Never mind, I'll just be called Davey. Windwalker. Okay, this is very hard to play through a kind of viewfinder. <laughs> there we go.
You got boost power. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, it's a bit awkward to play that, that game. Okay, where else have I got on here? Let's end it with some Metroid Zero mission. We want more Metroid games like this, Nintendo. What are you doing? Look, 2004 since the last 2D Metroid game. That's so sad. Come on, Nintendo. There we go. I don't think uh, my phone's going to record this stereo sound. But we'll see. What am I doing? I need to go back. There we go. Actually, you tried to use the Android back button to uh, go back in the menu. Oh dear. No! I think I got the brightness too high. Hey, 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 come on. Uh, okay, close for a second just so I can get there. Let's do that. Let's go back into it. Yeah, that's a bit better. I love that 80s, 90s style music there. Uh, kind of like the old Doctor Who, which I think they got inspiration from. Was it Kanji Kondo that did Metroid music? I can't remember. I'll have to look up later on Wikipedia. But yeah, the controls are really good on this. No problem using the shoulder buttons. This is my favourite way to play Game Boy games at the moment. And it probably will be for a long, long time. Until something else this portable. And this well built comes along. But um... There's always the uh, the less portable option of um, using a controller with a phone clip. Then you can use like um, your, the highest or big best screen on a phone you can get, which is like an Xperia, eh, not Xperia, Samsung Galaxy S7. And you've got really good OLED colors, quality, boom. But it's not exactly portable. Which is why I still use this. Yeah, still good. And these are, yeah, these are cheaper than getting a Game Boy Advance and modding it with a backlight from a Game Boy Advance SP Model Zero. Where is it? This one's the AGS Zero Zero One. The ones with the backlit screen is the AGS-101. Uh, yeah, this is like... Uh, I wish they still made backlights for them and you could still buy them cheaply on eBay. Then I would have gone through with it. But, for me, for the best performance, screen quality, battery life, and pocketability, and ergonomically, great. It's this. And the other thing is obviously sleep mode. Game Boy Advance games do not have sleep mode. You can use this because it is Android. And emulators, eh, safe states, win. Okay, that's a good reason, good enough reason. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's my conclusion. It's very good advice. It's better than a micro, Game Boy Advance Micro. Um, 
because it's roughly the same size, but it folds out and you got good controls. Good screen, big screen, four inch screen, better than the two and a half inch screen or something like that on the Game Boy Advance Micro. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And like and subscribe if you want to see more.